Stomach versus Tongue, words by Melissa Thompson, illustrations by Richard A. Richard Allen. Stomach versus Tongue. Hi, Stomach. You seem happy. Hi, Tongue. I'm just thinking about what Teeth asked us today. He said we must pick the greatest part of the digestive system, which is me. I'm a part of that system, too. Each of us is great. Well, I have big muscles that churn food. I mix and slosh the food like a blender. You are strong. And I am strong, too. I have muscles. In fact, I have eight of them. And stomach, what is happening? I am expanding. Most of the time, I am the size of a tennis ball. But when I have food inside, I can expand to the size of a football. This talent makes me the best part of the system. Wow. I cannot expand. But I have neat talent too. I have bumps all over. Some bumps have taste buds. They tell brain if the food is sweet, sour, salty, bitter, or savory. So you have five taste buds? Um, I think I have thousands. Hmm. Well, I have super strong acid. It's so strong, it can destroy metal. It turns chewed up food into liquid. Wow. As a matter of fact, I'm the one who forms that chewed up food into a ball. Then I help move it to the back of the throat so it can travel down to you. It's cool how we each have such important jobs. I suppose. I have a membrane too. It's like a coat of slime that protects me from teeth. The membrane stops harmful germs from getting to you, stomach, so it protects you too. Well, I have super strong acid. You said that before. <sighs> you said what before, stomach? Hi, teeth. I am helping tongue understand why you should choose me. Okay. Choose for what? You told us we must choose the greatest part of our system. I did? Yes, you said it while we were eating lunch. Yikes! I did not say to choose the greatest part. I said that we must chew this grape tart. Hmm, that makes more sense. Yes, sometimes it's hard to hear over the sound of my churning acid. It can be loud. How could we ever choose the best part? The system works because we all do different jobs. Tongue and I get the chewed up food to you, stomach. Then you break it down for intestines. We have to work as a team. You are correct. I feel better. I am glad you send the food down to me. And then you mix and slosh it. And then I break it down with acid. Here we go again. Must you two repeat the steps over and over? Yep. That is how a system works. The end. Let's come over here and read this more section. More. Humans use both taste and smell to detect flavors. Taste buds on the tongue identify food as sweet, sour, bitter, salty, or savory. As the teeth chew, the, as the, teeth chew, the food releases odors. The odors move to the back of the mouth and into a large space behind the nose called the nasal cavity. Then the brain combines the information gathered by the nose and tongue to identify flavors. When the sense of smell is limited, it is harder for the brain to detect flavor. For example, pinching the nose prevents air from moving through the nasal cavity and dulls the flavor of food. Similarly, people who have cold or damaged senses of smells have a harder time identifying, the t identifying tastes. In space, changes in gravity can cause some of the fluids in the body to move upward. As a result, astronauts often have stuffy noses and cannot smell their food well. They add extra spices to their meals to enhance the taste. Here's a sinus cavity diagram, and it's pointing to the nasal cavity and the tongue. The end. Stomach versus tongue.